Stay tuned to the end, I've got a joke for you. So when it comes to creating a restaurant or a pizzeria marketing plan, nothing can be more important to you than attracting more traffic and spending less money, right? Duh. And so today, I want to show you how to reach people when they are ready to buy. That makes sense, doesn't it? And whether you're using direct mail or social media, the weird thing is you need to reach fewer people to make more money. I know it sounds odd. I'm going to show you in just a minute. But anyway, if you want to attract more customers and reduce your marketing spend, watch till the very end because this is going to take just a few minutes and you're not going to find this anywhere else. Now, what we're going to cover is the all important reach and frequency. You're going to learn about customer buying cycle and why it's very important and how those two things tie together. We're also going to talk about how less is more. And like I said, direct mail, Facebook, Instagram ads, doesn't matter. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to talk about two of your customers. We've got Bob and we got Sally. Now, Sally typically purchases on Thursdays for the family. Bob's typically buying the day after payday. And you decide, hey, you want to go to Disneyland, so you need some extra money, and you're going to put out an ad, so you're going to put that ad out on Tuesday. Now, the problem with that is, whoops, Sally's actually at Disneyland this week, and so she's not going to see it. So your ad's going to go out, and all of your customers that are within this buying cycle of the third, the fourth, the fifth, you know, sixth, seventh, maybe into the eighth and ninth, you're going to be able to influence them a little bit with this ad because it's, it's around their buying cycle. Thing is, with Sally and Bob, you've completely missed it. This ad has run out of steam by the time Sally gets back. It's nowhere near Bob's buying cycle. Now think of the hundreds or thousands of customers you have that are buying throughout the month. And so what that would mean is for you to reach all these people, you got to put an ad out every week for everybody, but that can get expensive, especially with direct mail. And I want you to also think about this. This is why Coke and McDonald's and Domino's Pizza are advertising constantly on TV is so they can be in front of people, be top of mind at or around their buying cycle. This may not be practical for you. So I'm going to show you how to take a shortcut. Okay. So here's your pizzeria right here. And what most ad reps are going to have you do is they're going to say, Hey, Let's pump out an ad, do a mailer to this whole area, your trade area. And so here's a couple of reasons why this can backfire. First, it can be very expensive to do this whole area for one shot. And remember Bob and Sally, you're only going to influence about 20 to 30% of your uh, potential uh, trade area when that ad goes out during that specific week, because a lot of your customers are not in their buying cycle. So we're spending a lot of money. We're missing a lot of customers on their buying cycle. And guess what? If you do delivery, whoa, you got, you're pounded with deliveries heading in every direction, right? So this can affect service too. So here's what I'm going to have you do. I want you, instead of doing this, I want you to carve out quadrants. There you go. So you got one, two, three, and four. Now here's what I want you to do is I want you to send your mailer into quadrant one every single week for a month. That way you're going to reach everybody in that quadrant at or around their buying cycle. Make sense? Secondly, uh, you're going to be sending deliveries in one direction. That means drivers can take two, maybe three at a time. Service is going to be good. You're going to impress these people. Then after you've done that for a month, move to quadrant two, go to three, go to four. One of the additional benefits is that once you've got people in quadrant one spending money and coming in, that extra cash flow can start helping to pay for the ads for quadrant two, three, and four, and so on. Okay, so how do we do this with uh, Facebook and Instagram ads? Same thing. You, you know, instead of doing a big diameter around your restaurant, what I want you to do is maybe pick out a smaller one here 
and hit that for a week. Or you could just do four smaller quadrants. Put all your fire into quadrant one, then into two, then into three, and then into four. Reach fewer customers more often because you don't have the budget like Coke, McDonald's, and Domino's. That gets you in front of more customers at or around their buying cycle. That means that you're putting out less, you're spending less to reach more and drive more traffic. On top of that, you get your deliveries heading in the same direction. It makes it a lot easier on you. I hope you found this helpful. It sure worked for me. What a discovery. All right, you got time for a quick joke? Cool. Guy sitting at home with his wife watching TV, phone rings, a uh, guy on the other end is conducting a survey and he asks the guy, he says, hey, we're just looking to talk to people who've been married at least 30 years. The guy thinks a minute, oh yeah, I've been married 32 years. So the guy conducting the survey says, great. This is a question, it's a two part, it'll be A or B, so please listen carefully. So the husband's listening and the, and the guy on the other end says, would you rather A, go out on a nice romantic evening with your wife, go to the theater, go to a nice restaurant for a candlelit dinner, some nice wine, violinists at the table, and then go home and make mad, passionate love? Or, and the husband goes, huh, let me save you the trouble, dude. B. No. Listen, if you haven't already subscribed, you want to do that now. Remember, I increased my own pizzeria sales from $12,000 a month to $149,000 a month. And I've got a lot to share with you and I've got a lot more coming out. I'm posting content all the time. So hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you soon.